Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4 Season 1. Last episode, we completed some dungeons and turned in some Grim Favors to the Tree of Whispers. And today, we are going to do some more dungeons. And the dungeon we are going to do is Seaside Descent. Hopefully, we get some legendaries today. We have not seen one in a couple of episodes. Can't do that here. Right, here we are. And we'll also hit level 46 today, which means we should be ready to do the capstone dungeon. We'll probably roll off all of the obols we have. We'll try to get some legendary boots. No, save him, save him. Can you ever save this guy? I guess not. It's too bad. I wish you could save him. That'd be kind of cool. I'm not ready yet. You know what I should have done? Should have used uh, Shadow Step. Would have stunned him. Instead of using the trap. There we go. Legendary sword, guys. What I like to see. I need more time. Not ready yet. Out of energy. All right, let's keep on rolling. Need more time. Nope. Fell into a trap. I need like a bigger group here. We need to slay all the enemies in the secluded grotto. Pretty sure I've done this on the druid. Oh wow, a lot of enemies here. Gotta get rid of this corpse, though. Need more time. We've got a corpse bow over there just shooting us off screen. <laughs> yeah. What if there's like corpse bow elites? I don't think I've ever ran into one of those. if you like fought one of those with like the teleporter affixes and just teleports around and shoots you. Usually they're always you know, stationary. Alright, so let's head over here. There's gonna be a lot of enemies in this grotto. Spawning on us now, it's good. Guess this is, could be the last group. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now we must travel to the murky depths. We have an artillery shrine. Nice. Let's go quick here. Maybe we'll get that on the way back. I want to use the shrine. Brutal shrine placement. No enemies to be found. Let's see what we can do here. We'll get one down. We can find some more. There we go. Some elites right here. Oh, we lost it. Died there. Spirits just like spawn out of nowhere. Jump right on top. Here we go, we found our first course file. Don't have enough energy. Need more time. Legendary chest armor, guys. Something we have not got in a while. So let's check out this sword. Huge upgrade. Basic skills gain 23% attack speed. Pretty good roll on that. 11.5% damage to slowed enemies. 6% vulnerable damage. Lucky hit. Up to a 6% chance to execute non to execute injured non-elites. And 18% damage to injured enemies. And then we have... The chest here, huge armor upgrade. Each stack of momentum, key passive, heals you for 48 life per second. Nice, I think we have that, that passive, pretty sure. Yeah, we have momentum. So once we're at three, every stack heals us. It's pretty good, it's not as good as the other uh, aspect we have, but we're gonna save that for when we get some really good, you know, ancient armor, which will be when we are in World Tier 4. Those are some huge upgrades there, man. I'm happy about that. We needed that. Hopefully we get some good legendary boots. 
from the obols we roll. Hopefully we get at least one legendary. Yeah, I wonder if we could do the capstone dungeon. Can't. We'll be able to do it. Those are some big upgrades right there. I can already tell we're doing more damage. The twisting blades are doing a lot more. Crossbow. Need more time. We're actually attacking a lot faster as well. Just, that was a power spike right there. Like, we were having a little bit of trouble with these mobs, but now it's kind of much easier. The attack speed is like. Alright, one more corpse file to go. I need more time. We got an event here. We'll get separated. See how we do. My, my friends were cut down. I won't last on my own. There we go. Let's put... So we have to. It's just uh, it's just waves. Okay, so we don't have to protect anybody. Okay, next wave. Right? Because we're still on the first wing. Kind of weird. Well, we're not going to complete this. But we'll get a little bit of XP. I didn't know we were this behind. I swear that, like, the second second group that came up, we should be on wave four right now. I'm not ready. Yeah, we didn't make it. Couple more obols there. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Time. 
That's it. Seaside descent. It's pretty good. I think we'll probably get 46 from the turn in at the Tree of Whispers. The, uh,. What aspect we got? We got aspect of retaliation. Your core skills deal up to 20% increased damage based on your amount of fortify. We'll be 46. Do we choose now Not in town. to do the Capstone Dungeon? Could. Just give it a try. This ring doesn't do much for us, though. Who do we get here? It is done. Collection of Helms. Can't, collection of Chaos. Gauntlets. I guess we'll go Chaos. Oh, so close. One more. We got a ring. Okay, well, that's a sign. Critical strikes with core skills increase your attack speed by 19%. I'm carrying too much. Yeah, it's a sign, guys. We'll get 46 in the dungeon. In the capstone dungeon. We're doing it today. We're going to roll our obols and we're just going to go and see how we do. Could upgrade some items. I don't know if I should do that. Don't ruin all that work. Could put a chip topaz in here. I think we could do it. Might be it's gonna be tough though. There we go. Alright, so let's head over to uh Kiobashad. And we'll get everything going here. Gotta put a malignant heart into one of the rings. We should upgrade some pieces. Maybe we'll just go broke and just upgrade. <laughs> that might be a little too much, though. Would be nice to save our... Our mats for, uh, you know, the sacred legendaries we're about to get. Can we upgrade any gems? I think we can get a... Yeah, we can. Okay, we gotta do that. Another topaz. Remove these. And then we'll make precious stones to catch the light. On socket these see. as well. Get some emeralds. There we go. We got two. One here. There we go. So let's Another try to get some good boots. I want that over to the alchemist because we can get an upgrade on our potions. Do we have any consumables? Yeah, we have weak barb elixirs. Maybe we'll get a better elixir for the boss. There we go. It's leveled up. Better pots. Elixirs. Iron Barb Elixir. We'll make one. There we go. Now let's head over to Purveyor of Curiosities. And we'll try to get some legendary boots. 
we go. A bunch of boots. Damn it, I shouldn't have rolled that many times. <laughs> That's too many. Should have got, the, like, one of these boots. You automatically drop a scroll grenade at the end of dash. Dash's cooldown is reduced by 0.34 seconds for each enemy dazed. This way up to 1.02 seconds. That's kind of cool. Moving speed for four seconds after killing elite. Intelligence, all stat, and one rank of shadow step. Not bad. Those are pretty nice boots. Check out these other ones. Dodge chance, intelligence, energy, she cost reduction, and plus two ranks of shadow step. Dealing direct damage to a vulnerable enemy has up to a 35% 70% chance to daze them for two seconds. I wonder if we already have that. Yeah, we already have that one. Yeah, we have that one on another piece. How about this one? I think these ones are the best. Because we don't have that one. And the stats are pretty good. This one is uh, Archon Greaves of Audacity. When there are at least five close enemies, stun them for four seconds. This can only occur once every 20 seconds. You get slow duration reduction, 22 intelligence, shadow resist, and cold resist. These boots give dodge chance, intelligence, energy cost, strength, dash, shrine buff. Yeah, these, these are the best ones, I think. I could put some, some sockets, I guess. My boy. I think he's possessed. I think we'll do that. Get some sockets in these these items. And we'll put some gems in. Alright, so let's uh, add sockets to this. Add sockets to you. Add a socket here. And this one can get another one. There we go. All right, so let's put a uh, put a green gem in here, maybe. Yeah, more crits, good. Can't get any more, right? Need three. Yeah. And then we'll put uh, two of these in here. Maybe we'll put some red gems in, just because. That'd be better. Yeah, potentially. Where's the... The rubies. We got a chipped ruby here. Topaz. Sapphires. 2% damage reduction while fortified. It's 4% barrier generation. What do the skulls give? Healing. 6% damage taken over time reduction. Yeah, we'll just put one of these in here. Alright, so which malignant heart do we want to put in? May the light keep you. Could put some different aspects on the items too. Put these here. So all it can get vendored. All this can get vendored now. I'm not gonna use this is pretty good though. It does more damage, but dealing thirty six percent increased damage while you have barrier act, pretty good. I think that might be better. I don't know. I have to do do the math, and I don't know really know how to do it, to be honest. <laughs> Probably takes some time. All right, so we need an orange G uh, heart here. Gain 65% critical strike damage. But your non-critical strikes deal 21% less damage. Yeah, it's worth? Yeah, it's probably worth it. Let's put it in. There we go. All right, so there we go, guys. We got a, a nice little set going on here. And I think our recent legendaries will level up a bit. The old ones will... Won't really do much. 
Like this, I, this weapon will level up a bit. There we go. We got a skill point for leveling this up. Perfect. You'll level it up by three. Yeah, I think three is good. You could probably level up everything by three. Doesn't cost too much. It's good we got all these mats. That there is worth the coin. Shoot that with the gems too. I think this might be worth like an upgrade. It's pretty good. Yeah, we'll max that. Maybe the chest too. we'll regret not upgrading. We go in there and we start getting wrecked by the last boss. We will regret it. Regret it. Let's just go back to the gem guy. Let's upgrade this jewelry. There we go. All rank three. We're pretty good. Come back and see us. And what do we want now? I guess we'll get adrenaline rush while moving. You gain five percent increased energy regeneration. Now we could switch some aspects if we wanted to. I don't know if that's like maybe the gloves. Just something more useful. Tell me of extracting and improving. I'm sure you know. Even seemingly mundane objects sometimes contain great power. I can help you wrest that power free. The process will break down the original object, leaving behind the pure aspect of its mystical power. You might think of it as ripping the soul from one body and transferring it to another. <laughs> not that I would ever dream of such a thing. <laughs> Certainly not within earshot of the cathedral. Uh oh. All right, so this is the occultist. You can extract and imprint aspects, so we can take in aspects off of gear, the orange writing stuff, and then put it on other pieces or go into our codex of power and change an aspect, like gloves, for instance. I wonder how much this costs. We could get a get one that we can actually use. When you evade or shadow step, you leave behind a cluster of exploding stun grenades. Swapping weapons, all barb. Here's a rogue one. When casting imbuement skill, you trigger an explosion around yourself. Applying the imbuement skill, applying the imbuement effect and dealing 269 damage of the same type. When you dash, a shadow clone is spawned at your location who also casts dash, dealing 80% of base damage. We'll do this one. We'll do the imbuement skill. It's going to cost us... See, it's going to cost us some, some crafting materials. We'll use... We'll do one for the gloves. And there we go. Let's get it on there. Cost some rare materials, but that was worth it. It's an actually, you know, something we can use. All right, so there we go. We are ready to go. We can also reroll stats. Like, we don't like a stat. For example, like the, on the gloves. Maybe we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go to the gloves. So we don't really use barrage. So we can get rid of that. And then get a new stat that that, that hopefully is better. It's completely random. We just get two new, two new random stats to choose from. And then we can choose this stat again. Just in case, like, those stats are worse than this one. Problem is we don't have any fiend rose, so can't do that. But yeah, guys, that's occultist the alchemist. You know, levels up your health potions and gets you other elixirs that you can use. Craft those there as well. And then you got the jeweler upgrades jewelry, gives you apply sockets to gear, and then 
The blacksmith upgrades your armors and weapons. Bears your gear. Pope's Guardian. We can check in with Cormand. I don't think we'll do that. We're going to do this dungeon. It's time, guys. Actually, we need to actually go to the... The blacksmith and... Get rid of some loot. So we'll repair our gear as well. We're ready to go, guys. Do it. Level 46. It's time for the capstone dungeon. Got a full set of legendaries. We upgraded them all. We have an elixir that we're going to use on the last boss. Which is this one, the iron bar. We'll use a weak iron for now. Just for the... The rest, the first part of the dungeon. And if we do this, we can access world tier 3. Interested to see how we do. When I came here on my druid at like level 40, I got completely wrecked. <laughs> it was rough. We were running away the whole time. But I think at this level, it's it shouldn't be too bad. I think we'll do all right. I'll be kind of surprised if we don't kill the boss. Need more time. Okay, then maybe we won't. But doing a lot of damage. This will be the hardest stuff we kill. And it looks like we lost the taunt, guys, from that ring. That ring had the... We don't have the taunt anymore. So our... Can't taunt enemies. Kind of changes up our playstyle quite a bit. They're just going to chase us down the entire time. I'm not going to be able to just group them up in our poison pool. But stuff's dying. We're not having too much trouble. We'll see how the elites are. be a significant power spike, though, for upgrading all that gear. Wrecking man. <laughs> and we're sticking with uh this combat specialization. Combo points. I just like it. It's easier to use than inner sight, I'll admit it. Alright. 
There's another elite. They just get wrecked, man. <laughs> Maybe you smoke bomb, yeah. The end of dash. It's time to recharge. Pretty sure. Get what that does. I'm gonna look that up. There it is. Smoke grenade. Throw a smoky concoction at enemies that dazes them for four seconds. Dazed enemies cannot attack or use skills, but are still able to move. So I guess they gotta move out of the smoke bomb. For them to do skills. So that kind of saves your life. You know, if you dash into like a dangerous area. Oh. Chill out here. I'm not ready yet. Oh. You like blinked into more enemies, so. Kind of baited us into a trap there, almost. Alright, so this should be the final elite that we need to get rid of. The last Revenant man. I need more time. Yeah, Rogue's awesome, man. All right, here we go. Travel to the court. I'm not ready. High Council Court. There's something on the top of that shelf. All right, here we are. I think this is it. The High Council Court. It's the first boss. Did we go for it first. I think this guy, this position, is the most annoying. Yeah. I 
need more energy. This one down. Looking quicker there now. I just gotta bring them to the other side. Because those guys still cast in their spirit form, so if we bring them to the other side, kind of not take them out of the fight. That boss got demolished. Yeah, we're I, we probably could have done maybe could have done this earlier. I'm not ready. But it's good to play it safe. Like if I was playing hardcore, I'd probably wait till like level 50 to be honest. But I think on top four, you probably I could could have done this at 44. The problem is, though, is when you get to World Tier 3, all the mobs you fight are going to be level 50 plus, so. It is good to wait. And, like, when we do Hell Tides, Hell Tides are going to be tough. Everything's going to be, like, 55 plus, so. I think they're going to be tough. We'll see what it's like. But we're going to be doing a few Hell Tides to try to get. Time to Ourselves some upgraded gear. Get to slay all the enemies in the reliquary of Herod Fisher. Needs time to recharge. Kind of rough. We can get hit with that. Need more time. Gotta get out of this. Some trap. There we go. Maybe we can, can really get in there. Can't get close to these guys. They just keep. You win this ability. We get in, like, see? see what happens when we try to get in? Get completely wrecked. Some tough elites. We've got to deal with the ads. This guy off. Need more time. Oh, help bot. She's oh, using all of our help bots here. I'm not ready. Okay now. Needs time to recharge. That was tough. Easily could have died there if we just went in and tried to, you know, go toe to toe with them. This guys hit hard. I'm not ready. 
Oh, sitting at her, but... Oh, legendary sword. How about that? Probably going to be an upgrade. after this. I don't want to die while looking at the sword. Notice that quite a bit. Like, every time I, like, look at a new item or try to level up an ability um, in, like, a dungeon, for some reason I get, like, swarmed by hate mobs and I die. Okay, so this, this should be kind of safe, I guess. All right, yeah, that's a huge upgrade. Look at that damage. Rapid fire, terrible aspect. Doesn't give us anything, but the damage is probably worth it. If we run into trouble, maybe we'll go back and uh, get a sock, get it, get the socket it upgraded and uh, change the aspect on it. But I think this is worth it. Pretty substantial increase. In the damage. We'll have to see. Lost an aspect. Hoping they spawn on us soon. There's the entrance to the boss. Maybe we gotta go down here. I'm not ready yet. Got some elites here. One more mob. This is the last one there. Alright, so we got six out of nine health pots. I wonder if they have like a health thing we can pick up there. One of those big health pots. I don't think they do. Alright guys, so I'm going to go over just our loot quick. I'm just going to show you guys the loot we got. I'm not going to read it or anything just gonna go over just to show what we're working with and we are playing as a twisting blade rogue that is the build we are going there we go it's the build so I'll show you guys just your standard twisting blade rogue build with going uh, poison imbuement with poison trap. All right, so let's go do this, guys. Let's give this a try. Got six out of nine pots. Could have went back to town, but I wanted to see that we can do this without at a little bit of a disadvantage. Grabbing enough time already. But he's getting wrecked. He can die though to that. We gotta watch out for. 
Okay, there's these things. I really need that help. Wow, we're wrecking this guy, dude. No, don't kill me. We're gonna explode this. I have to find a way out of here. I'm gonna get stunned soon. Oh, look through that. Oh, he's dead. We didn't have to deal with the ads. Like, I got rag. Legendary, two legendary crossbows. My bags are full. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like that at all, guys. On oh, my druid, like I, I'm gonna show my druid fight on the channel. I'm gonna like go back and find the video. And like it was a war, man. Like I was fighting them for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it was, it was a battle. <laughs> this rogue just diced them up. Like we didn't even we fought like what one set of ads. Come back if you need work. That was nothing. It would have been a challenge though, level forty. If we did a level forty, we would have had a rough time. All right, so let's go unlock World Tier Three, guys. We have now officially. Entered, you know, the real game of Diablo 4. Can now do hell tides. Thank the light you're here, my boy. My... Right, let's check out these crossbows, though. Nice. Using an agility skill reduces the cooldown of your next subterfuge skill by 40%. Using a subterfuge skill increases the damage of your next agility skill by 50%. Nice. This one gives us a little bit more damage. Casting an imbuement skill, you trigger an explosion. It's hilarious. Because we have this on our gloves, don't we? Yeah. We put this on our gloves. This one's perfect, too. I'm going to try to get new gloves as quick as we can. So, yeah. When casting an imbuement skill, you trigger an explosion around yourself, applying the imbuement effect and dealing 1,232 damage of the same type. That's perfect. That's a perfect aspect right there. Nice, that's awesome. Do we get anything like Mother's Embrace? I think I got Mother's Embrace on my Druid from that boss. And there we go. So, currently we're in World Tier 2. Players who desire more challenge, levels 1 to 50. Enemies are more challenging. Monsters give 20% increased experience. Monsters drop 20% more gold. Monsters drop more items. Now we're going to Nightmare. Unlocked by completing the Campaign and Cathedral of Light Capstone Dungeon in Kiovashad, World Tier 2 Veteran. And we did complete the campaign, it's just we did it on our druids, so we don't have to do it anymore. And the new stuff we get is Sacred item, sacred Legendaries and Unique Items Can Drop. Oh, so you couldn't get Uniques in World Tier 2? I swear I got one in World War Tier 2 back at the beginning of the game. Like, I think you... Oh, yeah, we got it from killing Lilith. That's how you get Mother's Embrace. My bad. Helltides can appear across Sanctuary. Nightmare Sigils can drop that unseal Nightmare Dungeons. Yeah, we can do Nightmare Dungeons now as well. And Champion Monsters with Damage Resistance Auras can appear. Enemy Details. Enemies are more formidable. Monsters give 100% increased experience. Monsters drop 20% more gold. Monsters overcome 20% resistance. There we go, guys. We are in World Tier 3. Let's check out the map. There we go. We got some hell tides going on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to World Tier 3, guys. And that means we have our Renown unlocked. Let's see how we're doing. Wow, we already have Rank 4 for uh, Skosglin. Must have done a lot of dungeons in Skosglin. Nice. What else do I want to check out? I want to check this out. 
Chapter 3 has been completed, guys. It's good. Which means we can continue uh, the story, I believe. So maybe we'll have a chat with... with Cormant. Next episode. Just see what we unlocked here. We unlocked these, yeah. So kind of cool. Got a s balanced mace. Artisan bracers. Uh, some platinum to spend at the store. A new emo called Dagger Tap. Okay, bad. Cold Iron Bastard Sword. Looks kind of cool. Oh, that looks awesome, man. The Cold Iron Cask. That would look so cool on a Necromancer. Sports all classes, though. That's awesome helm right there. All right, so we got to level... Rank tier 40. So I just want to see if we can unlock some more Smoldering Ash. Oh, we already did. The next one's at 53. And then we'll get uh, another rank of Urn of Aggression. Get some more XP for monster kills. But yeah, guys. That is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, I guess we will check in with Cormand and continue the seasonal journey. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.